I didn't plan ahead and we freaking had to get up at 3.15 in the morning and drive, but that's the reality sometimes of just trying to hustle and make things happen. Bootstrapping. Happen, bootstrapping. So, On the road again and due to some poor planning and canceled flights poor gates she called me at 3 15 this morning i was like my flight's canceled i can drive I'm like, okay just drive to my house and of course it's effing raining again and you know what that does to my hair and then my electrical system in my car is messing up so the other day it was hot we didn't have great ac today by the way yesterday it was like 85 today i think i'm not quite sure i don't quote me but i think it's two degrees today i think it's two degrees fahrenheit and my car is blowing cold air on one side of the car and high air on the other i also didn't get much sleep because i was so anxious about waking up early enough to get down here in time it was going to be like 500 dollars for me to fly to dallas and back which is just stupid and then i didn't plan ahead far enough to go down the night before so just like a total cluster, but I'm really excited about the guests. So I know that once I get there, um, all of the Starbucks will kick in and my adrenaline will kick in. I have a hair in my eye and I was almost like, I don't even want to tell people like how lame today is that I didn't plan ahead and we freaking had to get up at 3:15 in the morning and drive. But that's the reality sometimes of just trying to hustle and make things happen. Bootstrapping happen, bootstrapping. I'm done now. <laughs>just trying to build this on my own so when it comes out any sharing you can do we are 100 totally shared with everybody awesome. because i like your style a lot your quote <laughs> so we will thank literally you. email it to everybody and put it on our facebook oh thank you so much that'd be awesome do it. that was awesome it's kind of cool that like all of a sudden i'm going to be in other people's vlogs like tom billy's vlog and um, patrick bed david's vlog back in the day i was in gary v's daily v number eight if you want to go back and check it out um, so that's kind of cool, kind of hopefully create buzz uh, before their interviews come out. And he was just so freaking nice. I mean, um, and I mean, he gave me a hug at the end, which is like, not everyone is going to go for the hug. You know, that's a sign like you really made a connection, which is the point of an interview conversation, which is, I mean, not that I want to be everybody's best friend, but I kind of want to be everybody's best friend. Now we have enough time to actually eat something real, maybe something even green. Then change clothes, find Christy Wright's tour bus somewhere here in Dallas. They have to locate where it is and then we'll meet them there. Still doing fine, probably going to need to get some caffeine before the Christy interview. But um, so far, awesome day. Definitely worth the headache and the drive for that interview alone. It was really fun. So stop to get more caffeine, but we're still going strong. But I'm just wondering like where do you think Christy is? Like you guys like we're looking for Christy. You think she's here maybe? <laughs> just finished listening to Just finished listening to um a few podcasts. Patrick Bet David just now when we were talking, he said, So you must have a crazy memory, just remember everything, because I don't use notes in my interviews. And I told him that I am a great test taker. And so what's interesting, like trying to lean into your strengths, trying to explain to you guys why this might be a valuable tip for you, is that like I didn't realize it, but this this uh, mode of creating content, doing these in-depth interviews comes so easy to me because like my whole life I've been able to memorize something right before go time. Like I could just cram 
you know, a couple days before a test and managed to make a B or an A my whole life, which is this ongoing thing I'm learning on the way my mind works. Again, it's hard for me to be present. If you think about it, like I'm always thinking about whatever I've crammed in <laughs> for the pressure point that I'm under. And so I have to really work to be present, which I was just talking with him about. But that's one of those things where you look back on your life and you're like, oh yeah, you're in a Barnes and Noble uh, parking lot. She'll be... <laughs> I like how Dave Ramsey is real subtle. He likes to just keep things real <laughs> small. <laughs> and I was telling Gates, how cool would it be if we had um, the pursuit go on the road? And so like each city we would do a meetup and I would do a few interviews in each city and we would have that big ass bus with my face on it. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. So if anyone watching wants to sponsor that. was really great with Christy and she like I said is my first interview um, with someone who's technically employed but she did have a lot of great stuff to say because it's like she works as an entrepreneur within an organization um, and I felt like my questions weren't totally on point for that interview probably because of that like I'm so used to asking these entrepreneurial questions um, and then to be totally honest with you guys, like I was distracted because she has a seven month old baby and she's like this big and I'm like a tank. Now I never want to, don't comment, tell me I'm not a tank. But I did want to tell you this because someone commented to me recently that they heard me say in some other podcasts about how I was self-conscious about my weight and about some of the, you know, physical stuff about being on video, but I chose to start anyway, because part of me thought I'm not gonna start this talk show idea I have until I'm, you know, a size two or whatever. And then I realized that's so dumb. The time is now. I'm uniquely positioned to travel and do this. I should do it now. And now I just kind of think, well, everyone's just still watching my before. <laughs> and after I figure out whatever's going on with my metabolism, then I'll have an after. And then people will be like, oh my gosh, have you seen Kelsey's old videos? And it will be like this great triumph that we'll all celebrate together, right? But for anyone who thinks, oh, Kelsey's just filled with confidence and how does she do that and all that stuff, I'm riddled with insecurities. And today I'm, I'm kind of mad at myself because I let that distract me, which is a disservice to the audience and a disservice to the work. So, and also gives, reminds me that I need to be working on this you know, even more than I already am to fix it because I don't want to be distracted by that. Like, forget about the vain parts of it. The other thing is like, I just don't want to even think about that when I rewatch things, when I'm editing stuff with Gates, when we're, when I'm interviewing someone who is a size zero, which all of these women seem to be. Um, so I'm not filled with massive amounts of confidence, but I'm also not going to let these little insecurities keep me from going after my dreams. And I don't want you, if there's women watching or men even, just don't listen to it. Because I would be so, so, so mad at myself if I had let that stop me get to where I am now, you know, two years ago when I started. So, that's all. Let's go on.